That's why I started with the hadith in Quran because Allah demands us to do things, Rasulullah Salaam demands us to do things. If we just do those things, it's really a simple thing. I'm not saying your, your question is a, you know, bad or uh, not a good question, but it's simple. Just follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to do and what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam us to do because we are the best of the people. Leave matter. Why? We are the best of the people because we do what, we enjoy what is right and forbid the wrong. We have to do that amongst, our, amongst ourselves. We have to speak up when you hear someone's going to say something about negative about Latinos, African Americans, Pakistani, whatever it is, uh, and you say something about it. And that has to begin with us. Because I'm recruiting today soldiers for change. In other words, you go to your communities and you start to implement either what your imam or yourself and you start to implement in your community being more involved with making a difference in terms of interacting with people from, from your, um, that are not part of your race or not from your race. We have to start amongst ourselves and don't be afraid to do so. Because some people are afraid to confront this big elephant. I'm glad that my brother said it need to be, this room needs to be bigger. We're overwhelming this room. It need to be a, definitely be a bigger section than this because the, the elephant is big. And it's bigger than, matter of fact, it's even bigger than this whole facility. It's just so big among, amongst okay. us. But we have to start, when we leave this door today, we want to say that I am a soldier for change and I'm going to do something about racism within the Islamic community. It starts with us. And then it goes from us, then it goes out to the rest of the community, meaning to the non-Muslim community and so forth, because they see the example between us. I will mention this last thing. I was speaking to a, to a, to a Christian group, uh, but, uh, and, I, and I said to them, you know what? The most, the, probably the most segregated time in America is between 11 o'clock and, let's say, 2 o'clock. And that is on Sunday. That's what people are in their churches, and when you go to their churches, you see all whites, you see all blacks. They have some dots of blacks or something like that here, but mostly all whites, all blacks, all Latinos, whoever it is in that particular church. But when I go to a masjid, alhamdulillah, on Friday, I see so much, because I'm imam, so I'm, so I'm talking to the congregation. I see so much color out there. The only place I see more, more color is in a box of crayons. And, uh, uh, and, so, and, so, and so I had to keep that in mind. Yes, we color when we come to Juma, inshallah, we need to be color all the time. And it starts with us and not being afraid to confront this thing head on. And to say, inshallah, stop that mother, stop that father, that's not from the Sunnah Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa